Okay, so step one for sprouting, uh, I'm going to sprout some quinoa here. Uh, and it actually has an extra step because it has uh, chemicals on the outside of it that are naturally occurring, but they're not good for us. So uh, I always give quinoa a, a wash. So I'm just going to sprout probably about half of that. So just under the tap. And I don't, if I'm sprouting other things, you know, mung beans, chickpeas, whatever, I don't usually bother with this stuff. I just, it's good, they're going to get you getting lots of washing and soaking over the next few days. Uh, but that's probably enough to start. Then I've got my trusty sprouting jar here. So let's get a spoon. And we just want to pop the whatever you're sprouting into the jar. Because the first step is just to rehydrate the seeds or the grains, whatever it is, the legumes <laughs> that you're sprouting. And then we just fill it up with cold water. And leave it to stand somewhere between your 12 and 24 hours. So our quinoa has been soaking um, overnight, it's probably about 12 hours or so, and oh, probably a little bit longer than that. And you can see um, there's kind of gassy, looks a bit gassy, there's a bit of activity and you can see it's starting to to, have to sprout, which is great. So um, all we need to do now is just drain it. So I've just got a piece of um, cheesecloth or you know, any sort of cloth's fine and then just stick a rubber band over it. And then well, if you don't have cheesecloth, you could always just strain it in a, in a normal strainer. Just pour that. Most of the water off the top. Cloth back on. And you should be able to get the last bits out. And it's important that you, uh, you know, get most of the water out of the grains because, or whatever you're sprouting, because if it's, if it's too wet, then they're just going to rot, which of course we don't want. So when you think it's pretty dry, I think the quinoa's blocking, looking fairly, fairly good. Um, so then all I do is just I just have a bowl, and I leave leave the um, leave the jar so it's it's on an angle so that excess water can drain out, um, but also so air can can get in so that the sprouts can sprout. And then I just leave that, um, and I'll, I'll rinse it this, this afternoon, I'll show you that when we get to this afternoon, but really it's just a matter of waiting game now. Um, but if you don't have a jar like this or a um, piece of cloth, the other option is to, I, the other, I've also sprouted things, I'll get my strainer and just put a piece of uh, tea towel in and then put the, the soaked grains, whatever I'm, I'm sprouting, legumes, uh, on the tea towel and then just loosely cover it and leave that sitting so that it can also drain out. And that works really well as well. So lots of different options. But yeah, no, it's just a matter of waiting. This is day three. So um, I've been, and you can see that quinoa have actually started to sprout. So there's little, little shoots coming coming out, little tails coming out. So one of the great things about sprouting something small like this um, is that it'll sprout quicker. So it may take a lot longer for other things to sprout. So what we'll do is we just want to rinse. So, and I did this last night, but I forgot to video it. So we just want to rinse the, the grains. And this is just to get some, make sure they don't dry out too much. So they, they need enough moisture to sprout, but not too much that they rot. Um, and it's also you're going to you know, rinse off any kind of gross bacteria and you can see there that like the water's you can see there the water's quite cloudy so just fill it up drain it off I usually do it a couple, a couple of times and Then back lid back on and just drain the last of the moisture out. And then just pop it back in the in the bowl there. 
to continue sprouting. This is day four of, of sprouting and you can see most of the sprouts, most of the quinoa, have like these long wonderful tails uh, and like there's a few seeds that haven't sprouted but they're pretty much all done so that's they're good to go so I think it's best if you actually cook them to so just simmer them until they're tender they won't take as long as when they're um, you know dry them only take a few, a few minutes but um yeah the sprouts good to go then you can just keep them in the fridge until you're ready to eat them I'm Jules and if you enjoyed this recipe really encourage you to hop on over to my blog it's thestonesoup.com and there are a heap of other video recipes just like this one and if you sign up for free email updates you'll also get a free e-cookbook to download which is packed with video recipes just like this so I hope to see you soon